quite uh, a surprising development. Um, the court, in its wisdom, uh, made an order restraining uh, security agencies from uh, engaging in, in any show of force around the premises of the court and the perimeters of the court. Um, anybody that attended court today would agree with me that the presence of the uniformed and well-armed security agencies where the presence is quite palpable from right outside uh, uh, court premises to inside. So um, the court uh, is not uh, removed from society. So the court must have moved. I mean, re uh, uh, notice what happened. Uh, the judge, the judge, and the, the, the clerk of the court and the registrars, they must have gone through what every lawyer went through coming into court premises today. It wasn't easy for me to drive through. I got through uh, because of the intervention of the senior officer uh, who came and uh, be beheld that I was adorned off and they wanted me to walk at least uh, a mile to the court premises with all the heavy books and files that uh, I was laden with. But the officer came and intervened and said he should allow me to drive through. And I, I believe almost every other person, lawyers, court staff, and what have you, underwent the same uh, uh, strenuous process. And this has become a constant feature each time uh, this matter is to be had. Uh, today, uh, the judiciary, you know, in their uh, state, decided to do something about it. So nobody made any motion. The court, on its own motion, ordered that security, security agencies should not be uh, seen to be uh, doing show of force on the premises of the court from uh, now on. So that's what we believe to be uh, a, surprise, a surprising thing that happened in court today. Okay, um, the court has adjourned to 10. Yeah, 10 December. Yes. Well, uh, the adjournment is to enable us to adopt our processes and move our substantive application. Uh, today, what happened is what uh, lawyers usually call uh, mention or the pre preliminary hearing. So, the applications from the other side, from the respondents, were taken on extension of time for them to file their defense. and. Uh, those applications uh, have been determined. So uh, the next adjourned day, we expect that there won't be any more preliminary issues that would prevent us from reaching the substantive application. Your name again, sir? My name is Aloy Chumako, Special Counsel for Mazin Nandekano. The applicant on my right is Barrister Patrick Agazi. He's my co-counsel. And on my left is Barrister Max Ozaka. He is the counsel to Alibo Development Foundation. He is with us today as a friend of the court. Are you optimistic for the justice? For this? Are you optimistic that you will get justice? May I can say something? Yes. I must actually <coughs> commend the information is Max Ozaka. I'm the counsel to Alibo Development Foundation. I was really impressed by the disposition of the judge. Particularly his, on his own, making that order that he made was, was quite bold on his part. And considering that disposition, I want to say that I will expect justice from the court. He has de demonstrated the boldness and courage which is expected of the judicial officers. Until in that trend, I believe the justice will only be done for the sin to be done. Yes. I am PM Agazi. What PP is a... P is Patrick. Okay. 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 M is in America. Agazi. I am being led by Ebo Alo Ejinako, special counsel to Mazin Nandekano. Like he informed you, the proceedings of today, we can say we are optimistic that we will get justice. The matter has been adjourned to 10th of December for adoption of addresses and subsequently a date for judgment ought to be fixed thereafter. Like he told you, all preliminary issues surrounding and bordering the entire application emanating from various councils, like people being out of time and uh, challenging the cost jurisdiction was taken today. And the next adjourned date, all the applications, particularly substantive applications, and 
hearing on objections challenging the requisite jurisdiction of court will be heard on the tent. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. No legal, no legal question. Yeah, yeah. No particular time. I be in the democratic institutions of this country, of which judiciary is uh, uh, representative of that. So we are here at the Temple of Justice, and I hope that I get the justice for our clients. Uh, on the other judge, what can I make here? On the other judge, what can I make here? On the other judge, what can I make here? On the other judge, what can I make here? On the other judge, what can I make here? On the other police everywhere. So, judge, I have been here and came with the I will send you that